Belfry football coach Philip Haywood is entering his 43rd year on the sideline, his 34th on Pond Creek. The all-time winningest coach enters 2018 with 428 wins. Belfry is coming off a regional championship loss on the road last year to Louisville Central as the Pirates failed to make the state championship game for the first time since 2010. Well, I think hungry is a good word. Uh, that, Based on what our team uh, – accomplished last year which we had a heck of a year you know we were 11 and 2 and and as i tell people you know the new england patriots don't win the super bowl every year you know they've, they've had a tremendous track record but they don't win it every year they didn't last year so so it's one of those things that happen sometimes it brings a little hunger to the program and you realize hey you just don't show up and, and win it every year there's a lot of things that go into it and uh, you know injuries and just different things that can take place on your way to a championship but I think our kids have worked hard, and they realize hey, it just it just isn't handed to you. You're going to have to go after this thing, and there's a lot of good teams out there. So we have to really prepare hard. We have to work hard in the off season, and then we have to get back to the process of which is getting a little better each day. We have to work. That's just the key thing. We have to work, and we have to come together. Right now, we are building our leadership skills. We're working hard. We're getting physical, but. We, we got to put in that work and everybody's got to have that determination and we already have a chip on our shoulder. We didn't even make it last year and that honestly that makes us mad, but we will be back. Coach Philip Haywood doesn't want to put any pressure on the program as the season is a marathon and not a sprint. It, it's a process and it's, it's a matter of believing in what you do and taking it one step a day. Don't, don't try to shoot big goals out there and say, well, here's what we're going to do this year, next year, or anything like that. But it's trying to get a little better each day in everything that you do as a player, as a coach, as a team, as a program. And if you can do that and continually build on that, then you have a chance for some pretty good success. Belfry has one of the most radical, compassionate fan bases that eats, breathes, and sleeps football. The 12th man, you got it right, the Pond Creek Nation feeling to be a part of something that is bigger than you. And I, I think this program, we tell our kids this all the time, this is bigger than you. And you, you are a part of it, you're a part of the cog. And I really feel like I'm a part of the cog. I'm not the program, I'm just a part of it. Well, there's no other feeling than having Belfry across your chest on Friday night, and just Friday night lots, it's, it's unbelievable feeling. It, it just, it's a different world up here, it's like, it's just unbelievable because you got every program has their one thing, but here it's just, it's a life. I mean, you eat, breathe, sleep it. It's amazing and you got to love it.